this test right here is called glypho check and it's less than hundred dollars. It's a screening test for your body for chemicals, primarily glyphosate, which is roundup and it's sprayed everywhere. It's in the rainwater. It's in our food, especially in grains. So when you're eating bread is filled with roundup. And there was a study done, it was like two decades ago, measuring, um, 90% of Americans have roundup in their body. And I have another test that's, you know, hundreds of dollars. And I've run that on a lot of people. Everybody's got Roundup in their body except for one person. And that's one of my employees. So you can use this as a screening test and then go on detox products to take the toxins out. This, you know, the Roundup is your, is your marker. And then a year later, do it again. So there's two tests in here. But you got to really think long-term. You got to think many years in the future. This is not a three-day gallbladder flush. This is not uh, you know, a 21-day fasting cleanse. This is years of detoxing correctly. When you're detoxing correctly, your body smells like chemicals, your urine, your bowel movements uh, smell like chemicals, your armpit smells like garlic, your breath can taste like metals. Just apologize to your spouse. It'll be a few weeks or a few months. But you got to keep going and keep detoxing because you're saving your life from a horrible chronic disease later in the future, or maybe you have some chronic diseases. You've already worked on your diet, you're starting to exercise, and then you add this to the mix and you can feel yourself getting better when you're on the right supplements. This test kit is open and it comes with a lot of material, but I'm gonna go over this one sheet. This is the most important sheet that comes with it. Now it also has all the tools that you need. It's got the pipettes and canisters and stuff like that. This is for the soil extraction kit right here. Um, you can use that. I'm like, I'm, I'm using this for liquids. Okay. Here's the liquid, uh, kit and it's got two pipettes or one pipette and a scooper and a vial in there. Here's a test strip. You don't want to open that until you're going to use it. You got to like tear that. And here's a little, um, cardboard stand for the vials that go in there. Just place that on the countertop and then vials like this are in there and, and like that. So all the instructions are on the sheet. So you got to be able to read this and follow the instructions. And on here, it's got eight steps. So you just follow them one at a time. And notice that there's timing involved, so be prepared. So you do something and you wait five or 10 minutes. What does it say? 10 minutes. And you're waiting 10 minutes several times. One, two, three, four times. You have to wait 10 minutes. So set some time aside to get this done correctly. Now on the other side, we have what you're testing. So here we have at the top, Honey, why would they test honey? Because bees go from flower to flower, picking up pollen and glyphosate. They bring it back to the hive. Colony collapse disorder is from Roundup, from glyphosate. And then um, here we have beer, which is a grain. And here we have grains. So cereal, oats, wheat, corn, soybeans. Why? Because they're sprayed in the fields by the farmers. These grains are saturated with, with Roundup. The last one is water. Now I use that. I use urine instead of water. And I came back high with glyphosate. And then later I did my other test, which I run for my patients, which is hundreds of dollars. And sure enough, I had high glyphosate. So that just verified that this was accurate. So you can uh, run this once and then uh, de detox a year later, do it again, a year later, do it again. And you can monitor. Now, when I was detoxing mycotoxins from mold out of my body, my first year I had high mold in the urine, I should say mycotoxins in the urine started detoxing a year later, redid the same test and it was higher in the urine, which means I'm detoxing quite well for many, many months, you know, for a year. And then the third test a year later after that, my toxins were lower. And then the fourth test, they were very low. So you got to think the same thing with chemicals. You got to think long-term years. Now, you know, there's like 60,000 or 80,000 chemicals on the market right now, very little oversight on these. And a um, hundred years ago, they didn't exist. So we live in a totally different world now and we have different ideas in the holistic healthcare field, like keep advancing our knowledge and our advice. Whereas in standard medicine, they're kind of still stuck in the 1960s or something. And they're not looking at chemical toxicity and detoxing that they think it's not a big deal, but everybody's got this problem. But the reason why I'm carrying this product is that you can do this on your own and never talk to a doctor ever. And you're just detoxing correctly and you're monitoring with this. So you could also take a lot of your detox product in like three days, every day for three days, you know, triple or quadruple your dose, and then do this test at the end of the third day and see how much glyphosate is in your urine at that point. And then take a break for three days, take nothing and see that the glyphosate comes down. So there's some various things that you can do to challenge or push, you know, your binder, your detox product. But basically the products I sell work 
all the time, every time for every single person. And uh, you can get the test that's hundreds of dollars, which I highly recommend, or you can, you can go with this one and uh, just test glyphosate and use that as a marker, assuming that as the glyphosate comes down, the other chemicals are coming down. Now I do know that there are some chemicals that don't come out of the body with uh, binders, with detox products. Um, they just stay in the body. Uh, dioxin is, um, I think one of them, the forever chemicals are tough to get out, but you know, you still want to detox anyways and lower your burden of all these chemicals and, and heavy metals. And so the more, the cleaner you are, the healthier you'll be, and the, the lesser your chance of getting some chronic, horrible cancer or autoimmune disease later in the future. And you just have to, you know, be in charge and, um, work with holistic doctors really, because, uh, medicine is a problem. You know, they give you poisonous chemicals. You know, they, they're not trying to solve this problem. So you got to work with holistic doctors. Okay. I hope this is helpful and keep working on your health.